Okay, in today's video, we're going to calculate not just the potential energy, but the change in the potential energy. And we're going to be talking about gravitational potential energy in this video. And when you calculate potential energy, what you're really calculating is the change in an object's from potential energy, gravitational potential energy, from one location to another. You kind of have to reference the change in the potential energy from a starting point. Okay, now, in this case, you have probably seen this equation before, especially if you've taken eighth or ninth grade science, PE equals MGH. I just want to point out that the official symbol for potential energy is not PE. The official symbol for potential energy is U, capital U. I don't know why U, but capital U, and the potential energy is equal to the mass times the acceleration due to gravity times the height of the object. Now, as I just said, usually, not usually, but what you're really calculating is the change in the potential energy. So this is a little bit different, but this is a better uh, equation because we're going to calculate the change. Delta U, this triangle of delta, means the change in potential energy is equal to the mass times G times the change in the Y position, the change in the height of the object. Because that's really, when you change an object's potential energy, what you're usually doing is raising the object up or lowering the object within Earth's field relative to the surface of Earth, and therefore you're changing its potential energy. These equations are really the same, but it's I'm just pointing out that this is delta U, and the change in potential energy usually comes from changing the Y position of the object. So let's just do that. We have an object right here. It has a mass of 1.5 kilograms, and we're going to, first of all, raise the object up some height, and that height is 0 0.45 meters. And you can see I labeled it here change in Y. You could just have easily said change in height, but uh, the Y is that we're, on the, we're working on the Y axis, so I said the change in Y is plus 0 0.45 meters. And we're going to calculate the change in the potential energy of the object, and we're going to reference it to this point where it started at the tabletop. So we can kind of call that initial position of the object our zero on the y-axis. Now we could have said it's down here at the floor, we could have said it's right here, we could say here or anywhere really, but what we're going to say is that, that where it starts, that's usually the easiest thing to do is where the object starts, that's going to be our zero y-coordinate, and therefore we can kind of say that it has no potential energy relative to this point, and we can reference our change in y to this point where it started. Okay, so we calculate the change in potential energy, the mass of the object you were given, 1.5 kilograms, acceleration due to gravity is a constant, and we raise the object, we change the object's position on the y-axis by plus 0 0.45 meters, and therefore that means we increase the object's potential energy by 6.6 .6 joules, or the change in the potential energy of the object from this point to this point is plus 6.6 .6 joules. Okay, that's the change in the potential energy of that object. Now, we could just have easily have started with the object right here at the tabletop, and in this case, lowered it down to the floor. And once again, we can calculate the change in the potential energy. The mass is still 1.5 kilograms, the acceleration due to gravity is still 9.8, but what's the change in the y? Well, the table has a height of 0 0.85 meters. So the change in the y is not 0 0.85, but it's minus because we're lowering it. We said this is our zero on the y-axis, so when we lower it down, we're moving along the y-axis in the negative direction. So it's negative 0 0.85, and therefore you can see we lower the potential energy of the object by 12.5 joules, or the change in the potential energy is 12.5 joules. Okay? You can see we always reference it to some starting point. All right. Now, we could just as easily have asked ourselves, what happens if we were to move the object from here up to here, what would be the change in the potential energy? Well, in that case, the object started down here, so the easiest thing to do would be to move our zero on our y-axis to right here at the floor. Then you can see the change in the height is 0 0.85 plus 0 0.45, which is 1.3 meters. The mass of the object is the same, acceleration due to gravity is the same. The change in the height is 1.3 meters. If we multiply 1.5 times 9.8, times our new change in height, 1.3, you get that the object has a change in potential energy of 19.1 joules relative to this surface, which is our new zero starting point. Okay, relative to this surface. 
And you can see that's the same number as if we added 12.5, because that would be the change in the potential energy from the floor to the top of the table if we move it up. And then we take the next step, another 6.6, .6, and 12.5 plus 6.6 .6 is also 19.1. Okay? So that is how you calculate the change in the potential energy of an object. All right? It's delta, delta U equals mg delta y. You just have to be a little careful about what the delta y is. Okay? So think about that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, you can give me a nice uh, comment in the comment section below or even a thumbs up. And we will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.